Good day! Today, I'm going to present you the compilation of our workshop exercises. Workshop exercise number one, plant layout. Plant layout is a floor plan for determining and arranging the design machinery and equipment of a plant, whether established or contemplated, to permit the quickest flow of material at the lowest cost and with the minimum handling in processing the product from the receipt of raw material to the shipment of the finished product. The primary objective of a plant layout is to minimize the movement of men and materials in the plant. Sheet metal shops deals with working with of thin sheets with hand tools and simple machines into various cutting forms that involves cutting, forming into shapes and joining. Sheet metal shop uses different tools such as angle grinder, throatless shear, corner notcher, planche, and hand tool, planishing hammer, and cleco fasteners. Process or functional layout would suit as layout for this kind of shop since a lot of process compared to other shops. With this, workers in one section could not be affected by the nature of the operations carried out in another section. Machine shop is a workshop in which work is machined to size and assembled. It is where subtractive manufacturing takes place. Common tools and equipment that are being used here are lattes, milling machines, bandsaws, and bench grinders. Process or functional layout can be suitable for this shop. This will bring wide flexibility regarding allotment of work to equipment and workers. Fitting shop involves preparing matching parts to touch or join each other in such a way that one will turn inside of another and will slide upon another or the part hold tightly together. It uses different equipment and tools such as marking and measuring tools, cutting tools, finishing tools, striking tools, holding tools, supporting tools, and miscellaneous tools. In this layout, process or functional layout would be suitable because fitting shop involves different job orders and activities that are non-repetitive. Carpentry shop deals with the construction such as making roofs, floor portions of a building, doors, windows, workbenches, household furniture, and many other useful articles by means of suitable wood. Carpentry shops use different hand tools such as claw hammer, tape measure, utility knife, nail set, and sliding bevel. Process or functional layout would be effective layout for this layout. This will make a better utilization of the available tools and equipment. Forging or smithy shop is where the process of shaping and conditioning metal by pressing, pounding, or squeezing it with or without heat. Common tools used in this shop are anvil, chisel, tongs, fuller, hammer, press, die, platter, punch and drift, and clamping vise. Line or product layout would be suitable for this shop because it implies various operations on raw material that are performed in sequence. Workshop exercise number two, technical drawing. The objective of this exercise is to draw a technical drawing of a workpiece with the use of solid works or AutoCAD. Technical drawing is one of the many methods that are used to communicate technical information. It is a detailed, precise diagram or plan that conveys information about how an object functions or is constructed. Technical drawings bridge the communication between designers, the people who come up with ideas, and producers, the people who put those ideas into practice. They are designed as a universal language to be understood by engineers, contractors, and architects. Also, manufacturers need technical drawings to produce all the types of products from automobile parts to microchips, lighting fixtures to refrigerators. Workshop exercises 3 and 4, Square and V Fitting The objective of this exercise is to make a square and V fit of a metal workpiece that is applied to lesson fitting and to make an illustration of the metal workpiece using AutoCAD. 
nowadays, small, medium, and heavy industries are using automatic machines. But there are some works that can be done accurately in bench and fitting work. Fitting is the assembling of parts together and removing metals to secure the necessary fit and may or not be carried out at the bench. This type of work requires the use of large number of hand tools and other devices or equipment that involve a number of operations for accomplishing the work to the desired shape and size. In this activity, square and V fitting is done wherein two pieces under gun measuring marking and cutting procedure in order to achieve the required shape and fit necessarily. Workshop exercise number 5, Rectangular Tray Rectangular tray is a flat container that has raised edges to stop things sliding off them. Rectangular tray has a lot of uses. It can be a container for a lot of things depending on its kind. In this activity, a rectangular tray is made from a sheet metal. First, a template is required as a guide in drawing lines that follows the required dimensions from the template. The sheet metal is then cut according to the drawn lines and is measured with the tri-square before bending it to check its straightness and accuracy. Then, the sheet metal is bent with the use of a ball pin hammer by applying the right amount of force to achieve the desired shape and prevent unwanted falls on the sheet metal. After these simple procedures, the workpiece Rectangular Tray is ready. Workshop Exercise number 6, Round Pipe The objective of this exercise is to make a round pipe as a workpiece using sheet metal without welding and to make an illustration of the workpiece using AutoCAD. Materials and equipment that are being used in these activities are sheet metal, straight snip, tri-square, ruler, ball pin hammer, center punch, scriber, and round pipe template. In this activity, a round pipe is formed from a piece of sheet metal without welding. It is done by doing few steps which can be easily done at home. First, the sheet metal is marked with the use of scriber to serve as a guide in joining the opposite sides of the sheet metal. Later on, the sheet metal is stroked and bended in a round shape by using pliers and hammers until the desired shape is achieved. Lastly, the sheet metal is joined and formed into a round pipe. For workshop exercises 7 to 9, it is all about carpentry and wood joints. Wood is the obtained material from a tree and is considered as the chief product of forest. It is the raw material for manufacturing wooden products or appliances. Carpentry shops compromises of cutting, shaping, and fastening wood and other materials together to produce the product of woods. Therefore, carpentry shop deals with the timber, various types of tools, and the art of joinery. Materials and equipment that are used in these activities are two wood components, tri-square, chisel, pencil, hammer, hoxo, and files. Dovetail lap joints. Its most common application is joining top rails to the sides of a car case or to the legs of a table. Due to its wedge shape, the dovetail is extremely effective at locking parts together. Cross-off lap joints. Cross-off lap joints consist of two pieces of wood joined together at right angles by overlapping them in the middle of one or both members. Precise measurement results in a cross-off lap joint with the mating parts neatly interlocked, their faces flush. In some cases, the joint is strong enough on its own and no longer need nails, screws, or glue. Cross-off lap joints are used in much the same way in the shoe racks, book, and kitchen shelves, and other similar projects. Workshop exercise number 9, the lap joint. The lap joint is effective when joining two wood components that are adjacent and perpendicular to each other. Workshop exercises 10 to 13 is all about welding joints. Welding is a fabrication process whereby two or more parts are fused together by means of heat, pressure, or both forming a joint as the parts pull. 
there are different types of welding joints which includes the butt joint, lap joint, edge joint, fillet joint, and the corner joint. For butt joints, two parts lies on the same plane or side by side. The joint is formed by placing the ends of two parts together. It is the most simplest type of joints used to join metal. The lap joint is formed when two parts are placed one over another and then welded. It may be one-sided or double-sided. This type of welding joint is mostly used to join two pieces with different thickness. For the fillet joint, the joint is made by intersecting two parts at right angle and one part light at the center of the other. For the corner joint, the joint is formed by placing the corner of two parts at right angle. Two parts which is going to be welded with corner joint forms the shape of L. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please don't forget to like and share and subscribe.